Right, and back here, looks like it all finished. Let's do a CD countdown. Let's go to that repository, that project. And let's do atom dot. So that's basically gonna open up the project for us to see all the files that got installed. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do npm start. Basically what that's gonna do, that's going to open up the project for us in the browser so that we can see what it looks like. But I'm also gonna open up the uh, DevTools in Chrome. So this is basically what it looks like. You have a logo, a title, and a sentence right there. And if you go back to Atom, we have quite a few files installed already. So the very first thing you're gonna see is node modules. That's, that's very typical. That's the folder that contains all of your uh, dependencies that got installed once you ran the create react app command. If you open the package.json file, you're gonna see it already has a few commands for you, like the one that we just used, npm start. There's also one for building up and bundling your project, uh, basically npm run build. There's one for testing and one for ejecting. Now ejecting is being used when you want to dump out, let's say the webpack configuration files, if you wanna make changes, or you wanna customize the webpack configuration, that's basically one of the use cases why you would want to do that. But typically, React already comes with React scripts that contain a default setup for you, so you don't have to worry about setting up your project yourself. And this setup is suitable for most you know, simple to medium-sized applications. Right, so besides that, we got our git ignore file, we got package lock json that has to do with the package json file, and we're not gonna look into that. There's also a quick readme file, and then we got our public folder. Now, this public folder contains a favicon, so that icon that you see right there, but also, if I go back to Atom, we've got our index.html. So this is the single index.html template or file that's being displayed to the DOM. So this is the only HTML file you're gonna have in your project. All the other files are going to be JavaScript files, so files with the extension .js, or they could also be files with the .jsx extension. And we're gonna talk about JSX in the next videos as well. The important thing to note for now is this div with the idea of root. This is where the application is going to be mounted to. Now, if you go to index.js under the source file, in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear up the structure a little bit so that it becomes simpler for us to use. So I'm gonna remove the styles because we really don't need them. I'm gonna remove that service worker, also the um, semicolons because I really don't like to use them. We're gonna save that. We don't need any logo. And um, the service worker is gonna go as well. So let's see, there's some CSS in here. We might use it eventually, but for now I'm just gonna kill it. The same goes for tests. We don't really need any tests for the application component. So here in app.js, we got our first component. So I'm gonna remove the CSS as well as the logo. In fact, I mentioned the favicon. The favicon is of course the favicon that you see right there in the tab. The actual logo was the file that we deleted a couple of seconds ago from the source folder, sorry about that. But anyways, back to this app.js, we've got our component. Essentially, this is one of the examples of how you would typically create a component. I'm gonna delete all this markup here because we really don't need it. So let's have a title here. Welcome to the React Crash Course. I'm just gonna have that for now, okay. So I'm gonna kill that semicolon. Really don't like semicolons. That's just a personal preference. Anyways, you've got that, and we also got our last app.css file, which you also wanna kill. Okay, so we simplified it quite a bit. And so in this app.js file, as you can see, we have our ES6 class here. So by defining a class, we basically define a component, and that's one of the ways to create components in React. As you can see, this class the speciality of this class is that it extends a component that's basically an internal class in React. Essentially, your app component is represented by the app class. And then what you do at the end of the file is you export the app class. And then back in index.js, your app class or your app component is being imported. And then here, as you can see, we do React DOM render with that app component. In fact, we can even simplify this just a little bit. I'm gonna do in named imports, I'm gonna do render from React DOM, and I'm just gonna call that method directly. Just to simplify it a little bit, and then we don't need the React service 
worker. Okay, so that should be good. And back here in the browser, we see our title. And if you open it up with the dev tools, you're gonna see our dev with the ID of root that comes from the index.html template right here. And then you also see our title that we have inside of our component in here, okay? So hope that makes sense. We simplified the structure just a little bit so that we begin with a simple clean slave. And in the next video, we're gonna get into building the actual project. So I hope you stick around and I'll see you next time.